Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a reducing balance CMI calculator in Excel. Before getting started, let's see what does the term reducing balance means. So let's say you have taken a $1200 loan, then on each month you need to uh, pay $100 uh, for the loan plus interest. Uh, on the first month you need to pay interest on the total $1200, but on the next month you need to pay interest on the remaining balance. That is. Uh, $1100, $1000, $900 and so on. But in case of fixed interest rate, you need to pay equal payments that is $100 on each month, but you need to pay interest on the total initial $1200 on each month. So this is the difference between uh, reducing balance and fixed interest rate. Now let's say you have taken a loan of $1000, interest rate is 14.49% per annum. Uh, and number of EMIs is 12, that is 12 monthly installments needed to be made. Okay. Then the EMI amount can be calculated using the PMT function. It calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. Press tab to insert the function. The rate is uh, monthly interest rate, but here the interest rate is per annum. So you need to divide it by the number of EMIs. Okay. Then the N par is uh, the number of EMIs. The present value is the initial loan amount. These two are optional arguments, but the future value should be zero. And the type you can uh, type zero uh, if you want to make the payment at the end of the month, or one if you want to make the payment at the beginning of the month. Okay close the bracket, press enter, the EMI amount is uh, $90.02. The red color of the text means the number is negative uh, as it is a payment, due payment. So you can insert a negative uh, sign before the function to make the number positive. Okay. Then the total amount payable should be the EMI amount times the number of EMIs, $1080.21. Then the interest is the difference between the uh, total amounts payable and the loan amount. Sorry, uh, that should be a minus sign. That is eighty dollars and twenty-one cents. Now let's see how do these amounts look like on each of these months. Okay, so on the first month, the starting loan amount is one thousand dollars. Okay, the starting payable amount is the total amounts payable. A payment on principal can be calculated using the PPMT function. Okay, so insert the PPMT function rate is the monthly interest rate, that is the annual interest rate. Press F4 to log the reference divided by the number of EMIs. Press F4 to log the reference here too. Okay, the had the PR argument, the bar argument is the month number here, that is month one. In do not log this reference as uh, this. Uh, month reference should be uh, copied down below or change uh, as you copy down the formula. Uh, comma, the n par is the number of EMIs. You must log this this reference. Press F4 to do that. Comma, the present value is the uh, initial loan amount. Okay, so uh, log this reference too. Now the future value is zero. It is optional argument. You can uh, uh, skip it or uh, the type is zero that means you want to pay at the end of each month close the bracket and press enter okay so the the first payment on principal on the first month is seventy seven dollars and ninety four cents that to avoid the negative number you just type a negative sign before the formula to make the numbers positive okay then the payment on interest can be calculated using the IPMT function. IPMT function. The rate is the same. Press F4 to lock the reference divided by the number of EMIs. Lock the reference. Okay. Then the period is 1. Then the number of EMIs is 12. Lock the reference comma the present value is the loan amount log the reference comma
comma the feature value is zero comma type is zero close the bracket press enter so the on the first month you need to pay twelve dollars and eight cents on interest then the total payment will be equal to the payment on principal plus the uh, payment on interest so equal to sum of these two numbers okay that is ninety dollars and two cents which was calculated in here okay then the ending loan amount should be the starting loan amount minus the payment made on principal okay so this is the ending loan amount and the ending payable amount will be the starting payable amount minus the total payment made on the first month okay so this is the ending payable amount now on the second month the starting loan amount will be the uh, ending loan amount of the first month okay so uh, this will be the ending uh, starting loan amount now on the second month the starting payable amount uh, will be the ending payable amount of the first month so equal to this amount okay now you can just copy this formula below sorry i have copied copied this one to further now this one this one and finally this amount okay so this should be cleared okay now see the EMI amounts are same for each month and that ending loan amounts uh, amount to zero on the last month which it should be zero so the table is correct okay and the ending payable amount also amounts to zero now the total interest paid is equal to sum of these amounts which is equal to the calculated total interest here the payment on principal should be equal to 1000 okay so tab this amount yes the payment is 1000 and the total payment is uh, 1000 880 and 21 which is equal to the total amount payable calculated earlier okay so the uh, table is correct so this is how you can create a reducing balance emi calculator in excel okay if you want to uh, on the practice workbook you can uh, download it from the video description uh, leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video